Hello, good morning, students. As we continue with our chapter number six, preparing and storing food, we are going to discuss about the how the plants prepare their food. As you can see, a plant grow. They grow in the soil. What happen, children? The root of the plant or a tree or herbs or bushes, anything, they extract the water which is in the soil and they also take the minerals in the soil and then it is passed on through the stems to the leaves. Leaves is the actually the kitchen of uh, a plant where uh, the food is prepared. That's why the leaves are called the kitchen of the plants because they prepare the food. Children, they, the plants, they take the water and the minerals from the soil and they pass in pass out through the stem and through stem it goes to the leaves in the leaves there is a small pores actually under the leaf and they are called stomata where uh, the sunlight is ta taken with the help of sunlight and the and they take carbon dioxide they prepare the food and that food they prepared is something like uh, you know sugar it is called starch uh, sugar the food is prepared is like sugar and it is called starch you all know starch is sugar okay and they prepare the food and then after preparing the food they don't what they will do with the food now they have to pass it to the different parts of the body a uh, sorry parts of the plants so with again with the help of the stem they and they are passed to different parts of the plant. So what happened, children? A plant takes in water from the soil with the water they take minerals also and carbon dioxide from the air. Carbon dioxide which we breathe out is in the air. So human beings, animals, they breathe out the carbon dioxide. So it is in the air. So they take the carbon dioxide from the air. In presence of sunlight, sunlight is very much required. That's why plants prepare their food in the daytime. Sunlight, green leaves, as I told you, because green leaves have chlorophyll, a uh, substance which is called chlorophyll, which helps the plants to, means they are green in color. So, this chlorophyll, uh, along with this, green leaves change air and water into the food. And that food is, I told you, sugar type which is in the form of starch, okay? And this process, the whole process is called photosynthesis. 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 P-H-O-T-O-S-Y-N-T-H-E-S-I-S. -S. Now, what is the meaning of this word? Photo means light and synthesis means putting together. So, you need light and then putting together the water, minerals and the air means carbon dioxide. So this is this process of preparing food is called photosynthesis. So what happened children that when plants prepare their food, uh, they this process which is called photosynthesis is uh, green plants only make their food with the help of chlorophyll, carbon dioxide, water and sunlight. Okay. And the food prepared is stored in uh, different parts of the plant like sometime in the stem, sometime in the roots, sometime in the fruits and seeds in, as a form of starch or sugar. And this is um, where we um, take in the food. We, that's why we have plants because it gives us uh, the starch which is required by the human for human being. So, uh, this is all about the preparation of food or photosynthesis, uh, how plants prepare their own food. So, plants prepare their own food with the help of water which is taken uh, by the root, extracted by the root with the minerals also, then it passes to the stem and from stem it goes to leaves, leaves is the kitchen or the factory where the food is made and uh, they take in that that green leaves that is uh, there is presence of chlorophyll is required with, along with the sunlight and carbon dioxide they prepare the food that is the food is called 
starch because it is sugar and then they pass the food to different parts of the plants and it is stored in either in stem or in the roots uh, or in the fruits or vegetables okay seeds this is how plants prepare their own food called photosynthesis thank you